actually did it. I met Cyber! That's crazy. Like, bruh, I don't think you understand. That's like a hip hop head interviewing Tupac. Like, Cyber to Trap Metal is like Tupac or a bit. Probably something earlier. But you get what I mean. That's crazy. I gotta tell you the story, okay? I met him. Okay, so he went to the show. Shout out Panda. Panda will be in the description. His ad and everything. He was a cameraman. So he went to the show. You know, everyone was good. Everyone did great. And I'm not just saying that. Everyone did great. All the, the acts and everything, they were good. They were so good. But it's just a different story when Cyber gets up there. Like, I'm not just trying to be a fanboy or whatever. Cyber killed it. Like, Cyber killed this show. He did Kill Me Mo. He did A. He did all types of shit. So, shouts out to him. So, I met him after the show. I just went upstairs and he was right there. And I chickened out at first. I just stopped him, gave him a hug. It was like, bro, that show was lit. And then I walked away. My friend was like, no, you know damn well. <laughs> Shout out, Panda. And I turned around and I asked him. And it was like smooth. And then we did a little bit in there and where we were at, but it was too noisy. We left the, sh the place where the show was at. It was just too noisy. It was like, a, it's a restaurant up top. We were downstairs. That's why I said that. I was coming upstairs. And we go just a further down. Just a little bit further down is a McDonald's. So we went in there and uh, uh, waited a little bit. He had to go do stuff. He came back. Came back and bought him an orange juice. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yes, I bought Cyber and orange juice. Money well spent. Um, I got a Wi-Fi God interview, but it's short. So I'll actually just post that here. Right, I'm here with Wi-Fi God. What's up, man? Cool, man. We just killed the show. Man, so... No shit. Right shit. Hell yeah, man. How, so how did you kind of feel? That shit was fun as hell. I seen y'all turning up with me all the time. Got love for y'all. You fuck with the energy? Oh, yeah. 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 Like, like in diapers or like when you were just like in middle school and shit. I made all like uh, hip hop beats, hip hop rapping shit. Started it. Yeah. Weird. I fuck with, I fuck with these years. Suck now, I fuck with the world. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, what do I say? <laughs> I'm like, you fuck with my boy. Yeah, yeah that's my man. I've been fucking with him forever. How long have you been with him? Since he was max 17. Damn. Minute. <laughs> yeah, I used to rap on his beat, bro. Did you like it? Cool. So, yeah. So, Cyber's interview will be posted soon. I still have a lot of stuff. So, my channel, the way it's being run right now, I'm just slacking a little bit. And I'm purposely doing that. With interviews, I'm not going to stop. I'm never going to stop doing interviews. But there will be a process I'm going to slow down on interviews. And... The reason, I'm just kind of just losing the, I don't want to say I'm losing the ambition of, because doing them is fun. I always, I, I, I rarely or ever dislike doing an interview. It's the editing part. And that's why like my last few interviews, if you notice, were unedited. Like they weren't really edited. I just put an intro in it, put some clips in there and music in the background. And that's really it. Taking stuff out and splicing and doing different things in the video. This is too much. So I want to just start doing It's just a lot of work. And then I have other things I'm doing. Uh, you know, I have to do some reviews. I have to drop some of those soon. I'm going to drop probably a few reviews. Uh, I might do another versus. Um, or two versus. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to keep doing <laughs> how to in five minutes. And of course, topic videos. And of course, vlog style videos like this. Also, I'm doing the top 10 trap metal artists video pretty soon. Um, yeah, 
I'm just a busy person as well. So yeah, and this is the way I run in my channel. Now, um, I have to get some interviews out the way. You know, some to still do. Some pretty interesting ones and some I still have to hit people up. Like I said, if you want me to interview someone that I, ha that I haven't yet, hit them up. Um, you know, preferably, uh, there's, there's a lot of people that want to be, you know, interviewed. But preferably just people that you know a lot of people will want to see. And I'm not just trying to do that to focus on just clout or anything just helps because every little person is going to want and, and, I'm not, and that little is not a bad thing we all started little everyone started little so when i say a little person i mean like you know someone like myself that doesn't that a lot of people don't know about but you know if everyone's gonna want to interview i'm not i can't handle that i can't do that uh with the channel so i mean no somewhat known people in the community let's be honest so you know what i mean so don't have to be. I'm not saying give me a Scarlet or Dilla Kami interview, but you know, give me people that have a name. You know what I mean? People that that have worked their way around. So uh, producers, uh, artists, things like that. So yeah, and they don't, they don't have to be in the community. Just again, someone that just has a name. Like I said, I just do every little person that wants something that's not going to really work. That oh, that's what I have to mention. So you guys got me to 400 subs. Thank you. Almost at the halfway mark of a thousand, and that's pretty. It's pretty big. So I made a promise. If you remember that when I get to 400, I'm going to drop the project X7 interview. So that I guess will be the very next interview I do. Won't be the probably won't be the next video, but it'll be the next interview that gets put out. And more or less, it's just you'll see. It's a, it's 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 a treat. It's a treat video. So yeah, and like I said, I got a project interview. That's just crazy. <laughs> Don't really have much to say. I usually come in and have a topic. Um, it's not really much going on in the trap metal community to really talk about. Like I do have topics, but I want to save them for different videos. For the most part. One thing I do want to just mention, just real brief, is uh, the whole fucking, I don't know. Why Why is everyone talking about this industry? Like, I I even mentioned industry plant in my fucking video. Like, damn. It's like every single other, other YouTuber that does, like, this type of vlog style topic video that, that's, that's involved with music. Talking about industry, it's, I don't know. I'm not trying to just, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of big people. Like, what, Blackie Speaks did it. Um, <coughs> um, Hello, you seen. A lot of music people in it. Don't know why. I, don't, I feel like it's just one of those newer terms that people are just overusing because they hear it. And now, oh, everyone's, oh, the industry plant. Now, they start calling Josiah an industry plant because he blew up. Then you know it's just the internet doing what the internet does. It's fuckery. So, that's really it. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. This is a message to life. I'm not interested in me. Even though I'm having songs out, that doesn't matter.